not worked at the Blue Flame Lounge or set foot in a strip club since April 4th. Now this might sound crazy because I'm like sounding like I'm going through withdrawals right now. But in a way I am because that was my bread and butter for the last couple of years. Like I've been working at the at my family strip club and making money and that's how i supported myself and paying my bills now i have recently the last two years been pursuing my dreams and i decided for my birthday that i would take 30 days off from working in the club to take a leap of faith and try to find ways to make or supplement my income from chasing my dream and it's been fun been a nice fun ride it's a refreshing i feel like i've gotten a break i haven't because i was one of those people who worked like i worked five nights a week everybody who knows me knows you can find me at the blue flame lounge that's where i was at work because one i like to work two i like to make money and it was consistent i've been taking this time off and it's been refreshing I needed a break. I needed a change of scenery. I needed to, it feel like a detox. Like I needed to eliminate myself from the environment for so many reasons. It was good and bad, but, and I've been on this high. I've been on this high for the last like 20 something days, 21 days. Feeling like, oh my God, like I can do it. My dreams are coming true. Opportunities are coming left and right. And they have been, they have been like some, very few paying, but some promising. And let me know, you know, like I've, I've been pursuing the radio for, you know, full force, trying to be better at that and, and get booked more days for that. However, it doesn't really pay that much yet. And I'm only on two days a week. So it's not a full time job. I've been trying to do more acting during the week. And working on that reading and and I've got accepted into two classes so I'll be starting those next week but as far as paying gigs I got I did get booked for hosting once a week so that's promising so it's like good things are happening and I'm faith like I have I have faith that it's gonna keep improving but the first is coming up in like three four days and I'm like, wow. So you really didn't make no money this month. <laughs> Who gonna pay these bills? Where you gonna live to pursue these dreams? Cause in order to dream, you gotta have a bed. You gotta have a bed to have a dream. Like where I'ma lay down at. Like, I mean, I'm not I'm not saying I'm close to being evicted. I'm not at that point. <laughs> but it's just scary, the fact, because I've been always bringing in consistent money. And now, for the first time in my life, it's just like, no. You're going to really have to figure some shit out. It ain't going to be that easy. And if you're going to figure it out without going to somebody's job, you got to really... So, my head hurts. Basically, right now I have a splitting headache. I, I've been hyperventilating and everything. Like, I'm famished. My head is hurt. I have no idea. I'm out here trying to make a dollar out of a dream. And I'm venting right now, but shit gonna get done. It got to. If I don't do it, then who gonna do it? I personally feel like. I was motivated to take this leap because I know me and I know I, if anything, I would bet my money on me. And I know that no matter how hard it gets, the more pressure I'm under, I feel like the better I'll perform. I realized I was getting complacent in life because shit was too easy, too mundane. I was doing the same shit over and over again and just praying it would be different or praying for a different result and that's not what you're gonna get that's insanity so it was like i had to make a major change on my part for me i kept it personal i just told my family i was trying to figure some stuff out give me 30 days and but i took this 30 days to like fat i said 30 days because i wanted to actually do a fast from the club i wanted to really give it up because don't nobody love the strip club more than i Love the strip club. Okay? Nobody. 
my family own one of the biggest strip clubs in the culture right now. Well, period. In the last 30 years, if Blue Flame Lounge has been the hottest club since the 70s, the 80s. I had to take a step out for me because I wanted to take a chance on creating and chasing my own dreams. I really want to go hard and heavy with the acting and, and getting trained. And I want to grow as a person and, and my with my different brands i released my book i'm trying to push that i'm trying to grow as a public speaker like it's just so many things that i, I feel like i needed to do i almost feel like I, i'm going back to school but now it's like school of life like hard knock life shit like see my head is hurting my head is hurting you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's stressful so I'm missing out on a lot of things. I've been seeing girls post all that money they've been making, and I'll be like, damn. That could have been my bag. It could have been in that pile. I could have been in that pile. My good customers be texting me, bring you at work. I'm coming through. I be like, no. No. I'm telling you, this shit is whore. It sounds crazy, but you do something. I've been in that club since I was 15. Doing something. Help, I helped with amateur night. I done did everything in there. So it's just like, I really feel like I'm going through withdrawals today. Today, this is day 21. Oh my God, I did it for 21 days. Today is day 21. And if you could do something for 21 days, that's a new habit, right? I feel like it, it It hurt. My head hurt. Maybe that's why my head hurt. It's just like, oh my God, I'm tweaking for the strip club. Is this some ghetto shit or what? I promise I'm not even that ghetto. I'm just praying I make it to day 30, okay? I'm going to make it. I know I'm going to make it. And I feel like I'm not going to go back. Like, I, I feel like I'm going to just thug it and find a way to make a way. I know I can make a way. Right now, it's just like, what do you do when you need money? I don't understand. <laughs> do I go get blood? Like, anybody need a kidney? What do we sell our organ? How do you make money? <laughs> Where's the money? People, people, I need some money. Hopefully, one thing this has taught me though, one thing this has taught me is that if you want to do something for real, you'll just do it. It won't even be like a, it's going to be hard like how this is right now, but as hard as I, as afraid as I am about what's coming next. It's nothing you could get me to do right now to go back right now. It's my mom's birthday and I'm not even going. I'm not, I could use that as an excuse. And that would be a valid excuse, I think, to break a fast. But I'm not going to do it. Nope, I ain't going to do it. So if you really want to do something, you'll do it. You won't even like. It won't, it's just going to feel like I got to do it or I'll die. Period. That's how I felt. If I don't take a break, I'll die. <laughs> so here I am. Doing it. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. All right. Okay. Well, that's enough of my ranting, honey. I'll hit y'all up when I make it to day 30 because I'm going to make it. My eyebrows look horrible, but that's because I ain't got no money to get them done. Okay. <laughs> oh.